So, hello. Recently, I've not been feeling um, too great in general. Um, I'm coming out of it a bit now, but it's still kind of there hanging over me. So, I thought I would talk a little bit about what the problem is, and that is that um, a couple of years ago I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, and it's um, not one that most people have heard of. I think everyone's pretty familiar with bipolar by now, and there are similarities, but um, it, it's well, they're not the same. Um, a lot of people, when they find out that I've got borderline, if they refer to it later on, people tend to refer to it as bipolar, because that's the one that they've got in their head, that's the one that's um, mainstream, should I say. Um, now, borderline, borderline personality disorder, it's basically I'm gonna I'll explain it the way I see it as opposed to how medical professionals see it. So my experience of it rather than textbook definitions. Um, so the way I see it is it's basically a series of irrational responses um, to perceived abandonment. So I essentially think that everyone will leave me at some point. Um, I flip between idealising someone, so thinking someone's the best thing since sliced bread, to absolutely hating them. And it will be a, a quick switch. I will flip out, kind of. Um, now, it's it's all supposed to be triggered by something happening in childhood or at an early age when you're still developing um, that fractures your personality um, kind of stops it developing normally um, I don't know what happened when I was a kid um, I don't actually remember much of my childhood or adolescence even um, I struggle to remember big chunks of my life there's certain days that stick out and I can remember them and it's not big events it can be little things like um, I can remember hanging around with someone doing pretty much nothing when I was 15 um, but I don't remember many of my birthdays for example I remember some generally they've been quite shit um, So I, I don't know what traumatic experience I had as a kid. I know I was bullied as a child, whether that's it. Um, but I was pretty much in, incredibly shy from a very young age anyway. So um, who knows what happened there. Um, so how friendships work for me, because this is basically what borderline personality disorder is all about its relationships friendships don't work um, when I first get to know someone uh, that's when I'll idealize them um, I'll become too intense I want to spend um, too much time with someone I want to share too much information um, so one of the things I tend to do when I start getting to know someone is I tell them about my borderline personality disorder and I tell them exactly what's going to happen with the friendship I'm going to become needy, I'm going to become clingy, I'm going to be too intense um, it'll freak them out and they won't want to see me again and I'll be left friendless um, so I tell people that um, before they have a chance to prove otherwise um, and obviously that it then becomes a self-fulfilling pro prophecy um, because once I've, I've got that out there I then go back into that cycle of behaviour I, I, that template of how relationships work for me starts replaying 
I just slot straight back into that and piss people off. Um, now it's not something that can be treated with medication. Um, it's kind of hard to treat through therapy. Um, with some doctors, well, a lot most people consider it an, um, an untreatable condition. Um, Obviously, I've been through therapy. Um, I'm on medication, uh, but it is just straight antidepressants. There's, it's not like um, with bipolar where you get uh, mood stabilizers, for example. Um, I've been on antipsychotics in the past. The side effects outweighed any benefits, um, if there were any. So I'm not on them. Um, a couple of the things, the big things. Um, that come with borderline. Um, I'm far more likely uh, than your average person to end my life. Um, I have tried on some occasions. I don't want to anymore. Um, I do sometimes have those feelings. Um, to either want to end it or to harm myself in some way, um, but I think I've got to the point where I can, I can manage that. Um, even when I'm at my lowest, I don't act on that. It's it's been a couple of years since I've done anything like that. Um, the other thing is I'm far more likely to experience a psychotic break. Um, now a psychotic break, people when they hear that they think. Um, I'm going to go batshit crazy and start stabbing people. That's not what a psychotic break is. Psychotic break is um, when the, the lines between um, reality and fantasy aren't that clear. So I might have um, hallucinations. I might hear voices. Um, I may... And this is, this is the one that... Um, that probably happens the most I start believing that I have some sort of powers um, I can do things I can control things um, and there's the certain things that trigger that with me so there's certain songs um, that I took off um, my iPhone because when I listen to them, um, they make me believe that I am godlike um, and that I can control everything. So I took them off. Um, I've recently put them back on my phone because uh, I thought it was pretty safe. The they do still have an effect on me, but I'm not. I'm not in that mind frame where I would just start believing I am the Almighty. Um, although I could be. Who knows? Um, so one one of the things when I'm experiencing a psychotic break, one of the things that, that's um, a clue to it is when I'm listening to music, I'll see someone walking down the street, or I'll see someone sat on the bus, or I'll see groups of people. Um, that's when I know that I'm definitely heading that way, um, and I am convinced that everyone and everything is moving in time to the music I'm listening to and therefore I believe that I'm controlling that that's me um, and I have some some um, otherworldly powers um, now recently it's not been psychotic break stuff it's just been um, a prolonged period of depression for me because of that. with bipolar you'll have your depressive episodes, you'll have your manic episodes. Um, I have those. Um, manic episodes don't tend to last that long. Uh, and the manic episodes and the psychotic breaks kind of just go together. Um, the depressive episodes, they linger around a bit longer with me. Um, so... I am on medication, like I say, it's um, it's amitriptyline, which is a straight antidepressant. If I forget to take that, even for a couple of days, 
um, I can crash quite quickly. Um, it's a fact, fast acting antidepressant, so um, with some that have been on in the past, it's a case that you've got to take them for a month or more to let them build up in your system to see any benefits. With amitriptyline, they do work faster, um, but unfortunately, in my experience anyway, because there's um, withdrawal symptoms with most antidepressants have been on, although not suffered a big crash after them with amitriptyline if I come off them um, for a couple of days um, I would say a week maximum I will I will get really down really quickly if I get beyond that that week then things start picking up and I just feel normal but then if I have a depressive episode I realize why I was on the medication in the first place because you forget how bad it actually feels. Um, so recently I forgot to take my tablets um, for a couple of days. The problem is once you've not taken them and you start to crash, you then don't take them because you've crashed. You, you become depressed and therefore you don't take your antidepressants. It probably doesn't make any sense, but in my mind it does. Um, so therefore I went maybe two weeks maybe more even not taking them um, I don't tell anyone if I've stopped taking them um, if my mother happens to watch this um, I did tell her I was taking them when she specifically asked me sorry um, but I'm mental so I've got an excuse um, I'm back on them now unfortunate side effect of my medication apart from horrific dry mouth and I mean Sahara dry mouth um, is how tired it makes me so last weekend I started taking them again on the Friday night because I knew I had the weekend off and I knew I'd be too tired if I started taking them during the working week so took them on the Friday night um, I didn't get out of bed except to smoke piss and shit until Monday morning when I had to get up to go to work um, I, would, I was literally sleeping 16, 17 hours at a time getting up, having a little wander around the flat um, and going straight back to bed to sleep um, that's continued all week I've been having to get up for work but once I'm back in from work I can't get to bed quick enough I'm absolutely exhausted it's a real struggle getting up in the morning um, <clears throat> at the moment I'm pretty low I'm not feeling fantastic <coughs> but compared to how I was a week or so ago I'm fucking fantastic quite frankly um, I was really could not could not face anything I literally literally would rather have thrown myself under a bus than go into work um, and I start not looking after myself, don't eat, for example. Um, I brush my teeth, still remember to brush my teeth when I'm awake. Um, and I, I will have a, a wash, but I won't make an effort. Um, I certainly won't shave. But this is cool, this is cool, this keeps me warm. This is my recession scarf right here. Um, so that's basically it. I've got borderline personality disorder. I've been feeling shit lately. Um, if anyone wants to ask me anything about borderline personality disorder or anything I've spoken about, then feel free to ask me. I know I've rambled on for quite a bit and I didn't have any plan. I didn't say this is what I want to cover in this video. I just wanted to, to talk. Um, and it's easier talking to 
this than um, finding someone to talk to. I just realised how horrific my finger looked just then. I need to trim that now. So, thanks. Don't know if anyone will watch this. <laughs> um, but yeah, any questions at all, feel free to ask. Uh, I don't think it's something that should be shied away from. So, thanks. <laughs>